Let's jump to the war here, and today we've got a Saving Your Disaster campaign playing as the Bloody Hands. I believe this is on very hard difficulty, and the situation looks pretty bad. So it looks like recently you lost an army, and this is all we've got left, and there's a lot of forces coming in here to get him. So Dragon Horn Mine looks like it was recently sacked. I don't think there's anything I can do to, to save it. Yeah. yeah, it looks like it was recently sacked. Um, and we don't have a very large army, so we gotta do something about that. And also, Wurzag's not here. If we have a look at that, Wurzag is coming back in one turn. He's level 23. We're pretty late in the campaign. Let's have a look at how this has been developed. So, looks like he wants to go for trolls or giants, but I'm gonna delete that building because one thing that I noticed about this is that he doesn't have the financial building in here. Now, whilst the Greenskin army can sustain itself just by looting and sacking quite easily, we don't have an army, and so we're going to need to get some funds in order to pay for the army, at least to begin with. Uh, upgrading this could be good, but it's very expensive, so maybe not. Uh, Stone Mine Tower has been upgraded properly, so that's good. But this army here, dwarves are difficult for the Greenskins to beat. You know, these these guys here are not great, um, especially if you're outnumbered. You got to use numbers against the dwarves or use beasts. Also, another thing I noticed is that we're not on huge unit scale, which means beasts are going to be a little bit more effective. So, these guys here will count for two or three units. What else? Um, well, if we're going to get Wurzag, Wurzag's got a bonus to Savage Orcs. But I can't recruit any because he didn't put the building in here. Definitely don't want to get rid of this. Don't want to get rid of this because we need public order. Um... I don't want to get rid of that, but if we have to, we can. Because Wurzag uses magic, so you don't need that. It is good, though. Problem is, limited build slots. Um, Black Orc Barracks. Okay, cancel that. Okay, here's what we're going to do. Um, I'm going to get rid of this building. And we're going to build the Savage Orc stuff as well. So, I'm going to focus on having spiders. Increase our income. Uh, he doesn't have access to Goblin Doom Davis just yet. Alright. So, let's see here. I'm not going to recruit any goblins or anything this turn. Because it's all going to get destroyed. Um, I'll recruit... One of these. Two of these. Let's have a look here as well. Uh, this could reduce the upkeep cost for goblin and night goblin units. Mm, yeah, but we're not going to get any goblin units, so... Nope. Knowledgeable or disciplined? Well, Wurzag's got this law of magic, so... Knowledgeable. That'll be good to help him out. And this is good for support. Um, I, do, I do prefer the Orc Shaman. We could put both of them in can get disciplined and knowledgeable before we destroy the building. But we have to be mindful of our finances. So it's okay to like spam these guys once you've, you've got the money, but we don't have the money right now. Plus, we're probably going to lose 328 worth of gold, and we're stuck here for a couple of turns recruiting these, these Arachnorok spiders. And then, of course, we have to build the other building. That's going to take time. So, what are we going to do about that? Because we, we need to make a decision now. Alright, I'm just going to recruit the knowledgeable one. And that's all. And that's all we're going to do. Let's move on. Got to get an army. We can't, we can't really fight with a quarter of a stack. We need more troops. Yeah, not the biggest fan of Savage Orcs, but we, we can't afford Black Orcs. Even though it was only like one turn away from finishing, or two turns, we can't afford them. So, you know, that's as good as they would be, we don't, we don't have any money. we got to win a battle in order to get some loot, and I just it's a catch-22. Need money to pay for the Orcs, don't have any money, can't do it. 
Plus, um, I think that arachnorok spiders are going to be more effective for us. They're very good against dwarfs, I think. Not slayers, though, so we'll have to avoid them. So, with the two buildings that we destroyed, we want to build a money building, which will help negate the fact that we're losing this. And also the Savage Orc Barracks, because we can get cheap crap units from there. Gotta make some tough decisions here. There's nothing we can do. If I forced March down here to defend it, we just would have lost that army as well. So, it hurts to lose that much money, but... You know, wouldn't be a disaster campaign if it was easy. Ideally, I'd like to get a peace treaty with them, but they won't sign a peace treaty if they've got the advantage. They just won't. So there's no point even asking them. You can't throw money at them in this game. It just won't work. Alright, so they're probably getting ready to besiege that. If we lost this settlement, we would be in, in dire... Yeah, we'd be in serious trouble. So that, that needs to be the first thing that we save once we've finished recruiting. They haven't besieged it yet. Alright, let's tag out. Let's tag him out and get Wurzag in here and have a look at how he's been leveled up. So we helped the finances a little bit. But still, you know, it's going to take some time. Um, so like I said, get the financial building there. And... you got to build some... Set oh, it's going to take two turns. Well, we can recruit them as we move around. Wurzag, the great green prophet. <laughs> Yeah, plus the physical resistance for Savage Orcs units is going to make them pretty good against the Dwarves. If you have a look at what we can recruit, we could we could get some trash units in there, but you got to wonder, why bother? Still, well, otherwise we're not doing anything. Well, look, we got a fair bit of buffer, you know. I just, I don't want to sit here for two turns doing nothing. I, as my mystic powers... We can't move until this is finished. There's Regiment of Renown as well. Yeah, maybe we'll see. Hire them as needed. So that's got us to an army size of 10. No, I will not shame my clan. I reckon if we could match these guys for numbers. Oh, we're gonna consider that's gonna cost 546. But that's gonna give us an extra 200. Mm. And like I said, these are very good units, and they'll count for a lot in the upcoming fights. We just have to hold out long enough to not go bankrupt. Um, yeah, we, we absolutely cannot lose Stone Mine Tower. It's so important, so... Let's do our best with that. I could upgrade this, but I just... It's a, it's a big... Oh, it's not that expensive. Alright, I'll do that. I can always cancel it if things look a bit... Look a bit shitty. And if they besiege that, they'll besiege it for a few turns. Um, Alright. Not ideal, but... It's, it's, it's a tough situation. Moving on. I'm not going to recruit anything else right now. I don't see the point in hiring units that are just going to be completely ineffective against dwarves. I didn't check to see how he'd been leveled up. Doesn't matter. Not that I can change anything. So, big hope here is that they, they come towards us at Ekrand, not... Not, uh, not besiege us. Uh, well, actually, that might be even worse, because if they if they combine their two armies, I won't be able to beat that. But what I could do is, is uh, use the underway to get out, and that way we can also, if they get intercepted, get target one army at a time. 
could wipe it out that way as well. We'll see. Oh, bloody hell. It's not good now, their army's even bigger. And there's another army coming as well. It's not good. It's not good at all. And Greenskins is definitely a faction that could use a buff. They're not strong. The only reason that the AI does well with them is because they get just ridiculous levels of cheats. Where with one set, one tier one settlement, the AI as Greenskins are able to field like three to four stacks sometimes. And the player kind of in dream of doing something like that. So what happens when you don't pay for your troops? Right. Hopefully they bugger off, but let me just see, are they allied with Karakira? No. Alright, well at least they won't help each other out. Alright, we got one more turn until they show up. So they're recruiting as well. If if we fought these guys defending the, the town here, let's see, we got 13 units in there. I gotta admit, I don't think I can win. Let me just check this though. Upgrading this, getting us a bit of extra cash. But like I said, if we lost that, it's it's a disaster. Because we're making so much cash out of it, I have to try and save that. I wish I could move and recruit at the same time, make my way over there. But I think they'll besiege it for a while. I have to just hope. Uh, next turn, we'll be able to recruit some Savage Orcs to just fill up our numbers. That's what we're going to do. Alright, well, there's nothing else I can do, can't move, and, yep, whatever, let's move on. Gotta save Stone Mine, save Stone Mine Tower. Well, I didn't check, um, it's, like I said, it doesn't matter. At least the green skins are relatively strong. So that will hopefully be distracting a lot of the other dwarfs. Is not good. I can't take on two armies at once, or even in, in succession, and I need to deal with this one here first, obviously. Utilizing the garrison will help as well, but I imagine the replenishment rate on the greenskins is not great. There's actually very little that they can do to replenish quickly. In fact, I think the only thing they can do is defeat the Fey Enchantress. That's it. Their agents don't provide extra replenishment, and they have no skills that will provide extra replenishment. Alright, there we go. Alright, so... We've got enough money for a buffer for a little while. A big fan of those units anyway. Okay. Okay, let's see how he's been leveled up firstly. Okay, so from the look of it, we gotta focus on melee attack with with um Savage Orcs. Melee attack for Savage Orcs. Let's have a look. 44, but they've also got magic attack. That's bad. It's bad. It's they've got twenty-five percent resistance. Enables magic attack. Oh 
No! No, get rid of that. That's so bad. Your main enemy is dwarfs, and you've just given... Oh no, that's so bad. Every dwarf unit has 25% resistance to magic. So we're, gonna, we're not just not going to do it anywhere near as much damage now. Uh, don't get that skill, it's a trap. It's, it's too late now, we can't undo it. Uh, we've, we don't have long before, that's going to be a problem. Alright, well, according to this, we can f we can probably force March to get there next turn. So let's get over to here. I, as my mystic powers. And recruit five units of Savage Orcs. We can't afford them, in terms of this. But... Uh, we don't have a choice. Everything that we recruit is going to have magic attacks, so... Just, yeah, what can we do? Now, if they do capture the town, um, we should probably then take Bitterstone Mine. So, hopefully... Great, hopefully there's enough time. Um, I reckon my army here could beat this one. In a straight-up fight without the garrison. You know, with this, because I'll be able to use a fair bit of magic. Yeah, it doesn't help with that. Um... And, like I said, these units here will count for two or three. Let's just see what they've got, firstly. Alright, the Slayers will be a problem. But the, uh, the Savage Orcs will be able to deal with that. Yeah, we just have to, fingers crossed, that they don't actually launch the attack over the end turn. They probably will. But, just fingers crossed. Yeah, with the foot of Gork, we could probably take out like two or three full units of their of their dwarfs before the fighting even begins. Because on Sleen Ripper, he'll move quite quickly, so I won't be able to catch him. And then the I don't expect the Savage Orcs to be able to actually go toe to toe with even dwarf warriors, not with magic attack. Um, I don't know. We'll see. I'm not really the best with Savage Orcs. I've never been a big fan of them. But I do expect, even with magic attack, that it's just going to be basically irrelevant for the uh, for the uh, for the rock lovers and for the uh, arachnorock spiders because their their damage is so high that even if you reduce it by twenty five percent, you're still going to get a kill with each hit. So, it looks like Karakirin had their turn, didn't make the attack. Still, big problem. So, if we force march over there, and... Because I might just be out of range. Force march over there and attack with the garrison. I'm kind of hoping it just pushes them away. And then I force march the rest of the way inside the garrison. And then whoever's going to besiege... You know, does their thing. And we'll see. We need to we need to get a solid win in as well. Oh actually finances are maybe it's because of because of this. Yeah, we're just out of range there. So what have they got? Okay, that looks pretty spammy. Um Lots of quarrelers. We should be okay against that. But we can't wait another turn. We have to get over here now. Right, let's do it. We'll be able to get into Stone Mine Tower and be protected by the walls there. So we don't get caught by Force March. Go in. We need to win this well. We okay. They sort of did exactly what I wanted, but at the same time. Ah, oh, shit. It's okay, we've got enough money to last a little while. Um, yeah, you have to get in there. So, we've saved Stone My Tower for now. Let's just see what happens over the end turn. Um, like I said, I think my army of 15 can beat 
Ooh, I mean, iron uh, long long beards are pretty bloody good. No, I'm really not a fan of savage orcs. Not a fan at all. You have seconds to live, orc. I'd say we've got minutes to live. So let's see. Man, they're, they're fucking everywhere. Myrmidons is too weak to bother attacking that. We need to secure this province. If we can get a good win, we'll get plenty of loot. That's what we need to be doing. I will not disgrace my ancestors. Let's take what should be ours. Also, got no experience on our troops. No, Neither do they. I will not sort of. shame my clan. And like I said, I could hire a regiment of renown if I need to. Alright. Can't do anything else. Just gotta stay protected inside the city. So we'll see what happens. I reckon both of them will just bugger off. But if one of them hangs around in the area, great. Because we gotta get a win, get some loot. Get some loot for some money so I can recruit more troops. And also, we gotta get our fightiness up. If we can get a war, even though war's a shit, uh, we can just get them to harass an enemy. Just a little bit. Also, we, we need more troops in order to be able to get a war. We'll have to get quite a few victories as well, so we're a little while away from that. But still, it would be good to get one. So, a part of me really hopes that Barak Var besieges Stone Mine Tower. Reckon that motherfucker's going for Equind now. So what's Karakirin gonna do? Need to get back to Bitterstone Mine and recapture that as well. This is another problem is that the the AI here, because we're overwhelmed by enemies, they don't have to be brave. They don't we we on the other hand have to be brave. And they can just avoid us and defeat us just by running us out of funds. And because our settlements green greenskin defenses are some of the worst in the game. Uh, I think the worst defenders are greenskins, um, lizard men. Vampire accounts. They're the shittest at defending their territory. Okay, we actually made some money, which is good. Now, if we if we pursue this guy here, there's a pretty decent chance that he'll attack us over the end turn. I would like to recruit more Savage Orcs. Well, I don't want to recruit Savage Orcs. Actually, let me just check something. What if I went Biggins? Savage Orcs, Biggins. So they're... Hang on, if their upkeep cost is 138... Why is that 90? That should be like... Like 60... 60... 6, 69. If it's 50% off. Because it's not on legendary difficulty. Oh, they still must get an upkeep penalty. I don't know. Yeah, well we can't really afford to build it up anyway. So we've, we've got extra defenses here at Ekrund. It's still not enough to be able to defend against a dwarf stack. You just need brute force. Missile units and artillery to take out uh, dwarfs. You need guns. Alright, so let's have a look here. What does he need? You know, this stuff here would be very helpful. Um, but let's have a look. Yeah, let's get Looter. Because you don't really need the evasion chance with that. If we can get over to Lightning Strike and Mob Boss, that would be really good to, you know, reduce some... Oh, god damn it. We need to get a win within the next couple of turns, or else we're going to have fightiness problems. Alright. I'm going to lure them into a fight. So we're going to stand here. 
And we're going to hire just enough regiment of renown to let them think that they can win. So hiring units that are specifically good against dwarves, we're going to have a financial problem, but that's that's okay. Just enough to let them think they can win. Hang on, let me just see. What have they got? No artillery, that's good. Loads of quarrelers. Okay, so squigs, squigs are definitely going to be needed. And just this kind of shit that will not reflect very well in the balance of power, but be effective at just harassing them. And then we'll get some more. So, I'm pretty sure they'll make the attack, but if they don't, we'll hit Bitterstone Mine. Because we gotta get a win, like right now, we just have to. Now, they might come back over to Stone Mine Tower, but they'll besiege it for a couple of turns before they make the attack. We don't, we don't have any choice. Unless we can get them to actually be willing to fight us, they're, um, they're just going to go for our settlements, which is the wise thing to do. They've got more armies than us. We can't possibly defend the two... It takes three turns to get from Ekron to Stone Mine Tower. Hard to defend it. But I suppose, now that I've got a full stack, I'll be able to use the underway, and even if I get intercepted, I've got a pretty good chance of winning. Because like I said, the, uh, the Arachnorok Spiders is really what's going to do it for us. But yeah, we just need to get them to actually fight us. They've got a larger army, they've got a lot of long beards, those long beards are far higher tier than, than um, Savage Orcs. See if they're willing to go ahead with it. Might hear a little bit of background noise there. Sounds like garbage truck. No, they've they're just chickening out. Fine, I guess. Yep. Well, it'll still be a oh that rating income. God damn it. If we capture this next turn, that'll give us some cash. And we can make our way towards Dragonhorn Horn Mine, try to capture that. Now, Bitterstone Mine does have an upgraded garrison, but it really shouldn't be difficult for us to beat it. They just really don't want to engage with us. Which, you know, if I was in their position, I'd, I'd do the same. Ugh, that is some serious financial problems. <laughs> Alright, so luckily they've got this up to tier 3. Oh, they just built the walls too. Motherfuckers. Oh, you know what? That actually will probably make the battle easier for us. Luckily we've got artillery. Um... Let me just check something. Just want to make sure that they are not going to attack us. I, will not I can't tell what the movement's ancestors. going to be like, so. Shouldn't be a problem. Because we'll be able to use Foot of Gork to thin them out. Just be patient, whittle them down, but we need to make sure we take uh, minimal casualties. But the most important thing here is that we gotta we got to get some loot. Got to pay for this damn fucking army. And also, get some more experience on these units so they can be a bit more effective. So let these two tank the initial shots, and while these destroy the towers. Have to play a little bit dodgy since it's on smaller unit scale. Yeah, you see, he's taking a lot of damage. Doesn't really matter because you're not going to put him in combat. It'd be a lot harder for them to hit this unit here, but I think he's hidden.
We also need to make sure that we uh, don't take enough damage so that we can't recover fully in a single turn. Oh shit, we got a timer as well. That's okay, it's plenty of time. Plenty of time. Okay. Good, that's done. That's the that's the easy part. Alright, magic wise, we've got 70 wins of power reserve, plus the arcane conduits, and this guy here is really just getting some training. Alright, let's have a looky here. The fuck? That literally did nothing. Huh, that's weird. I I've seen it do damage to the to the things up here before. Oh, that's not good. Uh, move back. All right, we may need to waste the ammunition of that catapult. It'll be probably more likely to. going on here? Try this. Hmm. I don't know, I'm not liking this at the moment. Alright, we need to create a breach. Because I'd rather... Oh, should we fight on the walls? It's just basic units. Well, what are, what are the spiders going to do then? Plus, we don't really have any other good shots. Alright, create a breach. Mm, this isn't doing anywhere near as much damage as I was hoping it would do. Oh! <laughs> I forgot. With this, you don't need to target down there. Oh, God, it's been such a while, long time since I played green skins, right? This is how you do it. There, that's... Oh, my God, I feel like a dumbass. You can target Foot of Gork on the walls, right? That did way more damage. That's much better. That was, that was really good. That utterly annihilated that unit. That's what we want to see. Good. There we go. Now we're, now we're talking. Bit of damage, nothing major, don't expect much out of that. And like I said, because it's on smaller unit scales, because they usually play on huge, magic is way more effective. So these foot of gorks are just about deleting these units if it you know gets a proper hit in. Alright, wait until this gets to 30 wins of magic before we cast it again. Although oh look, it's only gonna take like five minutes tops once we actually get into combat. But we gotta get rid of their quarrelers, because that's gonna be the most damaging thing against our savage orcs. Could cast it now, but... Like I said, we've still got plenty of time. Oh yeah, there's a bounce of power bar. <laughs> I'm not used to looking at that. Hmm. Because if we have 30 wins of magic, we can cast it twice. That gives me time to get preparations in order. Uh, we could bring these guys up here a little bit. Sort of what, one thing that we could do with them as well is push through and get over here and get rid of those uh, artillery because they're obstructed at the moment. So I want to put one foot of Gork there. Probably another one here. Just one more arcane conduit should do it. Get ready to make the attack. I could waste their ammunition, but I don't think we need to. Ah, 
Come on, just one more Winds of Magic. Shouldn't take. There it is. Okay. Make it count. There we go. Good mana damage there. And like I said, we'll be able to do it one more time. What's the range on it? 200. Should be able to reach this. Pop it down right there. Good. 156 kills for him is excellent. Alright. So first up, send them in. Then I'll send five of them up on the walls. And four of them in through here. I don't want to send in the squeaks yet because I... I don't know. I don't want them getting shot. These two here, I probably should disband them. They're bloody useless. Probably don't want Wurzak taking any more damage. You can fit through. Do I have to manually put them in one at a time? Yep. <laughs> it seems so. They're hitting us with artillery. Yeah. So they're doing they're doing pretty well there. Fair bit of background noise today. Get in there. Twenty is taking a bit of damage. They're not letting him get away either. shoot at us. Alright, like I said before, what we could do here, get the uh, Arachnorok Spider, so just come over here and take that out, because a lot of Balance of Power will be put over there, and it'll be really quick to kill them. It's not going to do anything. That hurts a bit. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. So, yeah, they're doing alright for kills. But we don't want them getting shot by the by the cannons there. They'll just take too much damage. Okay, it's good. Take him out. Some of them are doing pretty well for kills. So I'm hoping at this point here they start to panic and start sending some troops back around this way. Well, as soon as this has been captured, they will. Let's make sure they don't come back. Oh, where's that second bit of damage? Get him out. Oh, 
Alright, there we go. Good, good, good. So, it would have been nice if these guys gained a rank up. But, you know, it's a start. No one gained any ranks up. Oh well. Bit of extra experience for Wurzag doesn't hurt either. And uh, this will help increase our finances. Because it'll be a tier 2 settlement. De definitely need to loot it. I could sack and occupy it. Oh, I won't have enough movement for that. Could sack it over and over again. But this is our home province. We should probably try to consolidate it. If we're, if we're really, really lucky, when we loot it, it won't go down a level. It's possible, it can happen, but that's only if we're lucky. Let's have a look at that loot. Enough to pay for our troops for one turn. And that's enough to pay for them for five turns. Unfortunately, it went down a level. Uh, we can upgrade it, but the problem here is that... There's so many enemies in the area, it's going to be hard to defend it for that long. It does not actually make it that much money, and I'm not going to worry about public horse. I'm going to get rid of that. Uh, I will repair this, because I will, will upgrade it. Let's now, looking at this, we can reach hours. them. It's just a matter of, can they reach us? So what I'll do, I'll stand here. That way, if they do... Oh. No, I'm going to risk it. I'm going to risk it. If they come over here, I'm going to say I can beat them. All right. Do you take me for a Wazak? Wazak, the great green prophet. <laughs> and we get such little amounts of replenishment as well. It's so bad. That army there won't be able to come and assist. Is that a, that's a serious army, but I, th I think I can beat it. I, seen the future. I was thinking about disbanding them, but if they're going to attack, I'm going to need all the help I can get. Alright, we can now get Goblin Doom Divers, but the problem is they take three turns to recruit. We, we haven't got time now to sit around. Leadership for Orc units might not be too bad. Right, we'll go with that. It takes a long time, but whatever. Because their, their leadership's okay, but it's nowhere near as good as the Dwarfs. But yeah, if we can get another 400 coming from here. Doesn't pay for our army, but it's a start. Yeah, we didn't gain any levels up for Wurzak, but that's okay. It's only a level 1 settlement here, so that, that could actually be worth sacking over and over again to get words like a bit more leveled up. I reckon what they're going to do is they're going to try and get to Stone Mine Tower. If they're going to do that, it might not be worth upgrading this because I just, I can't, it takes two turns to get between these two settlements. We need to get rid of their armies because it will take them some time to recruit new ones and get them over here. Factions this. Red Fangs. Okay. So overall, there's a decent amount of greenskin presence in the area, but... Just our faction's the one that they're attacking. Maybe I should try to coordinate with, with um, Grimgore. See what we can do. He's really given... Um, let me have a look here. Yeah, he's given the dwarves a hard time, and... Not having to deal with Thorgrim is, is definitely good. So if he could just keep that up, that's good. So Barakvar is owned by a mutinous gits. Where where does Barakvar... They just have Varenka Hills. Why are they coming at me then? I don't even border them. Bloody dumb. AI just loves to go after the player. Even if it means their own death. It's not good, but not the end of the world either. That's kind of the worst case scenario there. Because we didn't get any replenishment.
Yeah, that was, that was definitely the worst case scenario. Because now I have to sell you out now to beat them, which I'm pretty sure I can, even though we're a little bit damaged. Well, we've got money, so I'll do oh, that. Oh, just... mighty lord. The fates have surely selected you for greatness. Thanks to my guidance, your tremendous power grows as if driven by some divine power. Your mm, enemy... Shut up. All right. All right, squigs are going to be really helpful here. All right, we have a slightly larger army, but our army is damaged. If we beat them here, we'll be able to take the other territory back, so that's not going to be a problem. Um... It's going to be a tough fight. We're definitely going to need to get some solid Foot of Gorks in. But we've seen now that the Foot of Gork is really effective. Because it, largely thanks to the unit scale. The low, In fact, it, in my opinion, the lower you make the unit scale, the easier it gets. Because it's so easy to derp the AI out. And, oh, good. Good. Choke point battles means that they'll clump in through here. Oh, very nice. Very, very nice. Yeah, I do sometimes see a lot of people say things like, Oh yeah, you know, certain situations, it's super easy, I was able to do this in this situation. Then you press them and be like, what what unit scale are you using? And they're like, oh, you know, small unit scale. It's like, yeah, okay, where three shots from the tower destroys 50% of a unit, okay. <laughs> Should always play on, on huge unit scale in my opinion, it's the most balanced. The the smaller the unit scale, the, the less, un less balanced it is. Alright, where Zag needs to go out. Alright, so our artillery can reach here, that's good. And we start off with 30 wins of magic, that's good as well. Alright, let's do this. Would have been nice if he had a heal potion. I probably should check to see if they've got one. That was one thing that made my Skarsnik campaign a little bit easier, that every single battle I could just regenerate a little bit of Skarsnik's help. Uh, help. It's gonna be hard to dodge. Couldn't dodge it. Oh well. Oh, guns, 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 guns! Get away from that! 55 kills right off the bat's pretty good. Start moving around to the side here. The man has already done his worth, but he needs to do more. Alright, here we go. That one wasn't as good as the first one. They're almost in range. We've got 12 seconds left. We'll, we'll probably get another one off, but we need to charge now. Let's go here, just hang back. Oh shit. Get behind a tree, get behind a tree. Fuck it. No, wasn't fast enough. Alright, where are we gonna put this? Put it down there. And just but just back off from there just for a moment. Because they're bracing, getting ready to There we go. Nice job. I'd say we've got this. Next one's over here. 
Oh, we don't have enough magic? Okay, that's fine. Let's pop this down on one of the here. I gotta get him fairly close for that, though. Shit! This didn't do that much damage. Just need a little bit more wins of magic. The squigs are doing well there. Yeah, they're really good against wolves. Just hide in there. Ugh, they're getting smashed up pretty badly. Alright, there's the magic. Let's pop it in. Where? Pop it there. Charge him back in. We got a good charge bonus. Why don't you finish this unit off for us? We have a tooltip problem there. Army loss penalty should be coming in soon. Alright, that's enough of that. There's the army loss penalty. Cool, cool, cool. Now, it should be pretty easy for us to run them down because Savage Orcs are way faster than Dwarfs. Now, we don't want every single one of their units to get away. We want one of them to escape so that we can pursue them in the next battle and get an easy win. But overall, that went pretty well. No units got wiped out. Wurzag took a lot of damage, but he'll be fine. Yeah, if I get a health potion for him, that'd be great. We should have had the squeaks chase after them. But they they do an excellent job against wolves. That's not really doing a whole lot of damage. Alright, that'll do. So in terms of kills, Wurzag did the best, followed by the squigs, then the artillery. These guys here took very little damage. And, you know, they're actually performing a little bit better than I expected. I guess with all the buffs that Wurzag provides them, it's not so bad. I think it'd be good to upgrade them to, uh, well, you can't upgrade them, but to replace them with some biggins. But I think biggins take two turns to recruit, and you just don't have time to sit around. As much as we need the money, we kind of need replenishment. More. The great, green prophet. <laughs> the great thing about this is at least that's one of their armies defeated. Let's take what should be ours. Right, let's have a look here, so Certainly would be good to give him some more health. Nah, no, you don't need that. But like I said, you really you do need to get that. Yeah, try to get an extra magic for for Wurzag. Itchy nuisance is pretty good. 
great prophet. I will not disgrace my ancestors. Alright, let's have a look here and see if we can get... Oh, god damn it, there's nothing. 116 turns in and no fucking potion of healing. Oh, well, we, we could go straight to dragon horn mines. Might still be able to get there from here, but it doesn't really matter too much. Well, we're very close to getting a war. If I order resolve this, uh, I should be fine. Probably about the same damage I would have taken. Wow, that's a lot of that's more war loot than we got in the first time. So, they could be useful. Oh, wait, 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 we can't get there now. Alright, if I go into this stance here. Yes, We're technically raiding our own region, but there's, there's no money to get from our own province. But it's just about getting extra replenishment. The level up for him is good as well. Okay. So I only hired them for what was needed at the moment. So get rid of them now. This is still very useful. And we'll just we'll get some more savage orcs because they're up. Oh, I really want to get. I, we can't sit around here for three turns. And we. Well, we do have some buffer. I'll think about it later. It's not going to make that big of a difference. I just don't want to bankrupt ourselves. It's only 6,000. Alright, we can afford that for now. I mean, we're, we're losing a lot of money each turn, but... You know, we're, we're, we're working on it. That's going to give us back some cash. And we've definitely got problems over here. But if we can't, I don't know what's going to happen here. I'll try and get back to it as quickly as possible because it's worth more than both of these combined. But with that army gone now, hopefully, actually, let me just see if I can get a peace treaty with them. You no. dare. Also, if we get another victory. We should be able to get a wow. You know what? We should sack and occupy that. I could just get in a little bit closer. Okay. So yeah, Savage Orc Biggins. They've got a bonus versus large. Just look at stat differences. No armor versus no armor. They have more health. Higher leadership. Same speed. Melee attacks much higher. Melee defense is less. Weapon strength 42. Weapon strength 35. Thing is, against dwarfs, you don't need bonus versus large. Alright, we've got the money. We should be okay. It's just better to have them and not need them than to need them and not have them. It's going to take some time to get up that way anyway. Moving on. So it's good that we've got a lot of growth. If we can get Bitterstone Mine to build the walls there, you know... It doesn't defend against a full army, but what it does, it buys you time. And time is the most valuable thing that you have. Time to get over there and save the, the army, uh, the garrison, city, whatever. Because the, uh, the AI will usually besiege it for multiple turns. And that's the big advantage that you have in campaign, is that you don't have to besiege it for even a single turn. You can just straight up attack it. That's why I never just lay siege and build um, siege equipment. Don't bother with it. Artillery is always better to do it with. Or even even without artillery, just to bash down the gates. If you can. Alright, 
it, so. At least they're not they're not able to get any cash out of us through raiding, so that's gonna help our finances. Barak Var, what a fucking wanker. They should protect their own pro uh, regions. I'll just since we're allied to Grimgore, I'll see if I can get Grimgore to take out their region. Because if they can start taking a bit of attrition, that would be good. At least those two aren't two aren't allied. But I st I just don't think I can defeat a dwarf army, a full stack dwarf army with a two third stack of of greenskins. Not on very hard difficulty. So let's have a look here. boys. They don't seem to be at war with them. Right, let's see if I can get them to join war with. Baragvar. I'll go to war with Clan Anger in exchange. No. What about Clan Moors? No, they... I don't understand why they don't want to go to war with Baragvar. It's an easy pickings for them. Oh, fuck off. No. No. Well, that's... That's just that. God, talk. Let me have a look at Barak Var in diplomacy. One rug. They've just got the one region. We're technically stronger than them. You have seconds to live, Orc. Speak quickly. They're only really at war with us. So that's that's why they're doing this. No. So alright, here's the problem. The one turn that I need to go in essentially the opposite direction to get over here might be the one turn that it was needed to get back there in time. Let's take what should be ours. Alright, well. It'd be very bad to lose that because it's there's so much money coming from here. And this settlement here is just not worth much. But we'll sack it. I have to fight this manually because we just can't afford to take any more damage. And that will hopefully give us a war. And then with that war, we can send it out to go and harass Karakir in a little bit. Or maybe even, I'll send it to go and take uh, Barak Var itself. I don't care if they even blow up the settlement, as long as Barak Var is gone. We need to reduce the number of enemies that we have. But then we need to hurry back to try to save Stone Mine Tower. At least, like I said, at least they're not allied to each other. Should be an easy battle. Try to make sure that any units that are particularly damaged don't get involved. Just use the ones that are damaged. Sorry, aren't damaged. So that we can max out our replenishment efficiency. It was a decent aim, I missed by a small margin, it wasn't perfect. But we'll get a chance to do another one. Might be better if we hit those Dwarf Warriors instead. That's enough of that. Ah, oh, I don't need to do that. There's three units, I can micromanage that. Yeah, we don't want Wurzag to be taking any damage because he's already taken quite a bit. 
good to see some of the units are gaining experience now. I thought I told them to stop shooting. I mean, it's not gonna shoot that now, but... Ah, oh, completely fucking missed. Make sure you keep them broken. Alright, damage is pretty minimal, that's all we really wanted. That was never going to be a difficult fight, it was just... Didn't want to order resolve and lose... 400... green skins. And hopefully, thanks to this, we'll actually gain a war. So we're going to sack it and occupy because it, it's already at level 1, so what does it matter if it's smashed to bits? So yeah, we'll get a one. Yeah, okay. Alright, yeah. So if we look at this... Yeah, we're gonna, we're gonna get a one. Good. Oh, no levels up this turn for him. Let's fall this one here. Yeah, I need to get his magic up. It'd be good if he had uh, scouting for extra items, but we'll make do for now. We could merge and recruit new ones. How much do they cost to recruit? Oh, it's not that much. But, in all honesty, they should replenish by the time they get there. And even even that tiny bit of experience that they've got, I don't want to waste it. Good, we actually own the whole province now. So, what should we do? It's probably going to revolt at some point. But I'm still going to put that down. Alright, repairing this stuff, should we even bother? I mean, yeah, we do have enough growth to get it to, to tier 3. And it takes us 20 turns to run out of money, and it, this will increase our income slowly, so... Well, now, now we got to make a beeline for here. Let me just see if I can... Come then, messenger. Nope. Get out of the war with Carrick here, and if possible. You have oh, to yes! Live or yes! Bound. Good! That is, that is really, really good. That is fucking fantastic. That buys us time, hopefully. So, looking at this now, yes. maybe we can get out of some of these other you wars. What about... So, what about this one? You come no. bearing arm. Okay, that's really good. But... Um... Okay, that's fine. Let's move on. Now we just gotta hightail it over there. Try to get there before they launch the attack. We'll have to force march for the first turn, obviously. If we destroy that army, we can probably get a peace treaty with them. Just thinking, what are your expansion options? I mean, Karak Hirin has the most viable territory. But also at the same time... Just, you can't be at war with too many people at once. And securing this one province here, that's going to be really good for our finances. Just get, just try to get out of these wars. We're sort of playing defensive at the moment. Where we got to get rid of these armies, build up these territories, and then you can actually afford this full stack, and then you can just do whatever you want from there. But yeah, getting a peace treaty with Karakian is really good. Let's just hope that they teleport away. 
Yeah, they're, they're out of here. All right, cool. You're going to have to deal with them again in the future, but you've now got time to focus on Baragvar and probably sack Doc Karaz. Like, you could occupy it, but every region in that province is owned by somebody else. By different... So there's our Wa. And I'm going to send it. Let's see here. There's no walls there, so that's good. Ooh, what's going on, Doc Karaz? must have got sacked recently. There's only three units there, that's weird. Just gotta be wary of where they, they can possibly reach. We can get there next turn if we force march. Just, just be mindful, that's all. But even if we're called on force march, we should we sh should be able to win. Magic certainly makes a big difference. All right, so that's good. Let's. Oh, we're actually making an income now. That's good. Let's upgrade this and this. It all just depends on whether or not they launch the attack next turn. Otherwise, we can save it. So yeah, they have a mission. Uh, are there any enemies down south? You know, probably, if you could get Peace Treaty with all the Dwarves, taking on Cetra, this province over here, could be viable. Eh, probably best leave Cetra alone for the time being, actually. I'm in charge here. What you want? Mm -hmm. I don't know about this. I mean, they're allied with all that as well. It's a quadruple alliance. This <laughs> is it. Like... Every time I sign an alliance treaty, I just feel dirty. I just feel, ugh. Ugh. Yuck. It's like I've done something wrong. So I reckon if we can manage to save Stone Mine Tower, destroy that army, disaster's averted. Because he's got a full stack army, finances are okay. Don't have to worry about Karakirin for a few turns. You'll be able to build these up and have walls there. Get the, the income. Everything will be okay. And you've got a WA, which is, you know, it's better than nothing. It's free. I remember when I first played Warhammer 1, I, the first faction I played was the Greenskins. Um, this was in Early Access as well. And I remember when the Chaos Invasion came, I was like, oh yeah, I don't have to worry about that. Because it was so far away. But then it came, and I was like, holy shit, this was... It was... Because it just ripped through the Empire like crazy. It made a beeline straight for me. Because I had, like, secured all the Badlands by that point. Um... But walled settlements were easily able to repel them because they were terrible at sieges. But yeah, you didn't definitely didn't want to fight them out in the field. That was, you know, back then. Alright, so you've you've also got Tilia coming in, but honestly, I, I wouldn't worry too much about that. Alright, if we do this, they will see. Alright, so we got two choices here. We could just stand there, right? And what that'll do... And the public order is actually pretty good, considering we've looted the province. Um, if they want to get away, they'll have to actually use up more of their movement. If we if we click this right now, they will run away. Right? But we want to try and catch this motherfucker. So, he'll have to withdraw. If he attacks us, the garrison will come out and assist us. This guy is too far away to come in and assist. And if he launches the attack, where we'll come in and assist the, the garrison. So it's a... It's a win-win-win situation for us. No matter what they do, they're fucked. Their best bet would be to withdraw and just force march away. That's, that's their... 
Best bet. Let me just see if they'll accept peace. No. That gives me the indication that they don't have another army sitting here. But now, if we could just hold on to these territories a little bit longer, we'll be able to build up the income and we'll actually be able to afford this. You know, it's not the best army ever, but it's something. Okay, moving on. I thought I told it to go over here. Was I mistaken? They can't reach us. But ugh, that's, that that guy's doomed. Oh wait, no. Oh, hang on. Yeah, it is. Bye bye. You're dead. <laughs> like I said, well, it's better than nothing, but it's also pretty shit. <laughs> the was are so fucking dumb. I don't recall putting it on Doc. Ugh, I must be mistaken. Maybe I did put it there. Doesn't matter. If it was coming up this way, I would have got caught. Uh, that, so that's Grom Brindle. But you can see his army is not at full strength, so we'll be fine. That's all you really want your wars to be doing. Just going out there and smashing... Um, or just damaging the enemy armies a little bit. Because, you know, you'll be able to get another one in five turns. As long as you keep your fighting this up. Yeah. That's what I thought. We might even be able to catch them as well. If you really wanted to get away, you should have gone back behind the dwarf lines. Now, Barak de Wazbag, I believe, was being controlled by Greenskins. So, something happened there. Yeah, that's... Oh, that's such a problem with the fucking Greenskin campaigns. If you lose a war, your reliability for some reason goes down. So they end up getting a Pyrrhic victory. Alright, let's have a look here. Aw, oh, you doing? motherfucker. Oh, he wants to come down a bit of stone mine, doesn't he? What a little shit. That was actually his, the best decision he could have made. We, we can force March here to, to get there in time. I will not disgrace my ancestors. Let me just see if we get peace with him. Because he's, he's just fucking around with us. This army here, I'm not that concerned about it. Um, it's too small to... I don't know. You won't be able to besiege it next turn anyway. But we've got to hold on to this for as long as possible. So that we can get the walls built. So they're going to try and avoid us. At least we're not hemorrhaging cash anymore. We're at full strength now, just about. We stand in here. In here. They might attack us. But the garrison is at full strength, so having that extra oomph in there, because if they attack this, we'll definitely lose. So, yeah. Well played, but not good enough. Mm. See, now they might just go back over here, but... But we won't need to force march back there, because last time when they had besieged it, we were all the way back here. And they won't be able to get there next turn. So they'll, they'll probably move close to it. They might start raiding it. But... You know, we'll be able to upgrade this next turn, so that'll help. But it's just, just fucking around. Here's the thing, you've got to defeat them quickly, because this, this is on a timer. They're going to recruit another army, and then they'll be back. Best case scenario, which I don't think will happen, is if they actually attacked my army there, because there's no way in hell they'll win. But like I said, I just don't think it's going to happen.
I was a little bit worried they might start raiding. Should should still financially be okay. Here's the thing though, while they're raiding, no replenishment. Don't mind tower. It's where our, all our money comes from, but at the same time, it's such a weakness. It's like a settlement that just screams, Here, punch me in the nuts here. That's it. That's our nutsack. We need it, but it fucking hurts when they attack it. And the walls is really just a cup protecting the ball sack. Back and forth, back and forth. Alright. Like I said, it won't be long before Karakirin is back. It's good. They haven't yet besieged the settlement, but they're going to prepare to. We don't need to rush back this time, because it, they, won't, they won't attack it on the first turn. We can move about half the distance, and as long as we can actually hit them and catch up to them, the following turn, that'll be fine. Alright, some things got upgraded. We're really tight on the cash, so I can't quite afford this. But at the same time, you really do need the money. If we can get a, if we get a win in, we can, we can easily afford it. Yeah, I don't think Grom Brindle will attack us. Who calls me? Unless there's another force that comes around from over here. Why Which is there? might happen. I mean, they've certainly got their hands full. They're allied with Barak Var, but they, they won't coordinate their attacks together. One rug, you dare approach. It is tough. Oh, the... mm, so if I could just tell the greenskins to focus. Hang on, let me just see. Ready. Yeah, get the greenskins to focus on Barak the Wazbag. How strong are they? They've they've got a lot of strength, so they should. Wow, well, Bretonia. They they get number one a lot these days. And then there's also these guys. They're only at war with Clan Angrand and Tilia. Uh, if I could get them to coordinate an attack here, that would be useful. Of course, I don't want to be at war with Tilia myself, but they won't. They won't peace out until. Alright, get over to here. I don't think they'll attack us, but if they do, and they do send another army over here, we can withdraw. It's very unlikely. Could happen though. Yeah, just not making much money. We need to get a win. And also, due to our reliability, that's going to be difficult to um, to do anything. I think it's really stupid that losing your war makes you unreliable. I think it has something to do with maybe it's like alliance broken within the first few turns of establishing it. So what I think, because I'm, like I said, I'm not entirely sure because they're going away. What you need to be doing is with your war, hold on to it for five turns or ten turns even, and then you can throw it away. Maybe that's what we should be doing. I'm not sure. The game does not make it clear at all. Because they're, they're essentially your vassal, right? Yeah, I don't know. So let's see what Barak Far does. Hopefully they besiege the settlement. If they do that, then they're dead meat. Yeah, I want to see what they're doing. <laughs> trying to look. Didn't show us. Now, they didn't besiege a settlement, but they did sort of go in our direction. No, 
they didn't. They ran away. Honestly, we should make it last longer. Oh, there it is. It's just a game of cat and mouse. You know, what we gotta do though, like as long as we can hold on to this, we'll get keep getting money, keep building this up, and you'll you'll make more money from that. You just have to stop them for as long as possible until you can manage to build this, which they're just being cowards. They actually took a lot of attrition. Still not enough to be able to deal with it. But what I think I'll do is I'll end the episode here. I think this is disaster averted. We'll see how the episode goes if you want me to do a second episode. Um uh, it's just a uh, it's not a particularly interesting situation. Like, if I did another episode, it's going to be more of the same. Just running after these guys that are just fucking cowards. And we just can't catch up to them. Anyway, that's the end of this one. Hope you enjoyed it. And uh, we'll see you next time. Fuckers.